Sipping on dirty spray. Uh -huh. It's gonna be alright. Uh -huh. Give it that pump with that pipe. Uh -huh. Better believe in the hype. Uh -huh. To the left, so I had to get right. Uh -huh. Eating this thing with the brakes. Uh -huh. I see the money, I'm blind. Yeah. I need to open my eyes. Uh -huh. You can really pop this soon, like if you're on a mission. And I ain't talking about no mission to ride on no ops or nothing. I'm talking about if you're on a mission, two hour drive, three hour drive, you pop this in, it's mellow, you just kick back, you know what I'm saying? And you just, you just roll, bro. Just go ahead and vibe with the little baby. I'm kind of rocking with this. One, two, three, let's go! Shout out my lady with that shit. I'm in this bitch TV. I'm in this bitch for Jay. 500 racks in my safe. 500 racks to the plug. What you know about showing love? What you know about pulling up in Bentley truck? Make these bitches fall in love. Oh, man. Gas, bro. Do y'all remember the first time you heard this track? Honestly, I'm not sure when it was or where I was when I first heard it. It was probably a little bit after I heard that My Dog track off that QC tape, which was a banger. That is my dog, for sure. My dog. That is my dog. That is my dog. And I remember being like, okay. Okay, little baby. Interesting rap name, too. By that point, I've heard it all, bro. Lil Pump, Lil Filth, Lil Windex, Lil Toenail. Yes. Those are real, by the way. But yeah, after hearing that My Dog track, I went on to look up his discography. So I started bumping his first mixtape, Perfect Timing, which little disclaimer, I'm not the biggest fan of street rap in the first place. Not that I think it's trash or anything. It's just not really my cup of tea or my go-to really. Some of it's just not for me, you feel me? Honestly, there's very few street rappers that be in my rotation like that. But yeah, I thought that tape was cool. Then I started bumping his next tape, Harder Than Hard. And yo, I always get these confused, bro. Harder than ever, hard as fuck, hard Harder than hard, like bro, whatever they're called, they're pretty hard. But yeah, as the time went on, I noticed that he was getting more and more polished with his style. Some better cadences, better flows and whatnot. And then I want to say the beginning of 2018, I don't know, maybe around March or something when I heard that Dirk and Baby track, How I Know, which is also a banger, by the way. No, you won't kill from me. I know that you still love me. Yeah, yeah. That was around the time when I heard Freestyle for the first time. I was definitely a couple months late, but fam, when I heard this track, I was like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, he's out of here, bro. This shit is just different. Not even just the beat, which that alone is such a laid back, dark tone to it. <laughs> Not only just the bars that he's spitting. All of my niggas on go. None of my niggas no hope. All of my niggas on smoke. Which makes this song low key an anthem. Fuck that high key. But his flow is synonymous with the instrumental, fam. He rides the beat flawlessly. As soon as that beat drops. You bopping your head to this shit like crazy. Shout out my label, that's me. I'm in this bitch with TB. I'm in this bitch with Trey. And now at this point, this is one of his biggest and most iconic songs to date. Especially at a concert, you better know all the words, bro. Yo, especially when he performed this in the UK in 2022. I think it was Wireless Festival. Bruh, just look at the energy of the crowd. Shit gave me goosebumps when I first saw it. Bruh, that set must have been crazy to be at. And I'm not even the biggest little baby fan in the world, but come on, that shit look fire. But yeah, man, freestyle. The crazy thing about this song is that it was really a if you know, you know kind of song, like a certified hood classic for years. I mean, not really a if you know, you know kind of song. It was mainstream, don't get me wrong, people knew about it, but it never even charted. That was until for some weird reason, the TikTok god started pushing the song and more and more videos started going viral while using that song. And it ended up literally debuting on the Billboard Hot 100 legit five years after the song was released in 2022. Crazy to think about. So yeah, freestyle. Do you know all the words to this joint? Let me know in the comments, fam. And I'll check you guys in the next video. Peace.